Have you managed to do it on your own terms? Oh, absolutely. Really? I, absolutely. You know, I chose to do things which were quite uh, unconventional at that time. For example? So, for example, in 1991, I was given an opportunity to go and work in Nigeria. I used to work for Cadbury's. Mm. And, you know, I was on some sort of a fast track. And there was this whole thing of, we'll do an exchange. I go to Nigeria. My Nigerian counterpart comes here. And then I come back as CEO of India. So I chose to go to Nigeria. And I think, you know, you talk about being born into privileged families. I remember having a conversation with my parents over dinner and saying to them that, you know what, my country is Nigeria. So mm. my mom looks at me and says, you want to go? I said, yes. They said, go. And that was that. That easy. That was that easy. So I actually think that, you know, part of the confidence you also get is the support you receive. Yeah. But, you know, I went to Nigeria on my own terms. I was the first ever professional from India to go and work in South Africa and had the opportunity to meet and interact with Mr. Mandela. Uh, and that's a beautiful story yeah. in and of itself. And then I worked in Latin America with the Coca-Cola company and so on. But it was on my own terms. I mean, I said yes to what I thought I should be doing. And I had no hesitation in saying no. Uh, so I'll give you an example. I chose to go to Cadbury, South Africa as a sales and marketing director and not as the CEO. Whereas if I had come back to India, I would have come back as a CEO. Mm. You know, to me, the title was less important than the adventure and the and experience, the experience I would it. get. And, you know, I heard your previous panel say, it's about, you know, you have to believe in yourself and do the things that bring you joy. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're joyful, you'll do your best work. But here's the question, and that's to Sonali. Is it always that simple? Because if I look at your life, of course, everybody wants to live